Step into a dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind, the iconic world of the Twilight Zone. A groundbreaking TV series from 1959 that took viewers on a roller coaster of strange and thought-provoking tales. No need for complicated plot twists or over-the-top drama. This show thrived on simplicity, often leaving audiences with more questions than answers. With each episode, classic Hollywood actors took the stage, weaving narratives that left a lasting impact. Who was your favorite among these legendary performers? Perhaps the charm of Rod Serling himself, the mastermind behind the series, or maybe another actor who left an indelible mark on your memory. As you delve into this mysterious realm, be prepared for a journey filled with funny, shocking, and even sad facts. The twists and turns are not just in the storylines, but also in the fascinating trivia behind the scenes. Out of the myriad roles portrayed in the series, which one stood out to you? Was it a character that left you pondering the thin line between reality and the unknown? Share your thoughts. Now don't touch that dial because there are many more intriguing stories and surprising revelations about the show. Keep watching as we unfold the layers of this timeless series. We're curious, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the Twilight Zone? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. These tales add another dimension to the legacy of this classic show. Stay tuned for more as we explore the depths of this enigmatic realm and the impact it continues to have on viewers. There's always more to discover in this enigmatic world. The Twilight Zone, a groundbreaking TV series that debuted in 1959, left an enduring impact on popular culture. During its time, it received widespread acclaim for its unique storytelling and thought-provoking narratives. Its creator, Rod Serling, introduced viewers to a dimension not only of sight and sound but of mind, captivating audiences with tales that often featured unexpected twists and moral quandaries. The show's impact was evident in its reception and subsequent cultural influence. Viewers were drawn to its imaginative plots and the moral lessons embedded within each episode. It became a cultural phenomenon resonating with audiences who appreciated its departure from conventional storytelling. The Twilight Zone's influence on the television landscape of its time cannot be overstated. In the wake of its success, the series spawned various adaptations, including novels, radio dramas, and comic books. Its influence extended beyond the small screen, giving rise to a range of merchandise, such as action figures and board games. The enduring popularity of the show also paved the way for spin-offs and reboots in later decades, testament to the timeless appeal of its concept. Rod Serling's creation not only became a staple in the annals of television history, but also left an indelible mark on the broader cultural landscape. It endures through its impact on subsequent generations of storytellers and creators who continue to draw inspiration from its innovative approach to narrative. In conclusion, the reception of The Twilight Zone during its time and its lasting impact on popular culture are evident in the continued fascination with its stories and characters. Its ability to transcend its era and resonate with audiences across generations solidifies its place as a cultural touchstone. The Dummy is often considered the scariest episode of The Twilight Zone by critics. In the original series, Rod Serling personally penned 92 out of 156 episodes. Beyond the show's television run, a comic book adaptation featuring Rod Serling's artistic image continued until 1982, outlasting Serling's death by seven years. This enduring impact persists in recognizing the dummy for its unsettling qualities and Serling's prolific involvement in the series' creation. The Twilight Zone, a groundbreaking TV series from 1959, is marked by unique details that contribute to its enduring mystique. The iconic high-pitched guitar riff in the theme, skillfully played by Howard Roberts, has become a widely recognized signature. Each man introduced in the first season, as per Rod Serling's narration, shared the specific age of 36. Interestingly, Serling, the creative force behind the series, initially believed he coined the term the Twilight Zone. However, post-broadcast, he discovered its existence as a phrase used by U.S. Air Force pilots to describe the boundary between day and night during flight. These distinctive elements, from the evocative musical riff to the consistent age portrayal, underscore the show's uniqueness. The Twilight Zone's impact extends beyond its initial run, with these subtle yet defining features contributing to its lasting allure. Episodes in the first, second, third, and fifth seasons of The Twilight Zone were set at a concise 30 minutes. 
However, season 4 deviated with hour-long episodes due to a schedule shift imposed by CBS. This alteration accommodated the show's new time slot, allowing only one hour per episode. Notably, The Twilight Zone secured the eighth spot in TV Guide's 25 top cult shows ever, a testament to its enduring influence. Rod Serling, the series' driving force, claimed the top position in TV Guide's 25 Greatest Sci-Fi Legends, showcasing his pivotal role in shaping the show's legacy. These recognitions underscore the Twilight Zone's impact, solidifying its status as a cult classic in television history. The succinct format and Serling's sci-fi influence contribute to the show's lasting allure, making it a staple in the annals of television. Due to budget constraints in its second season, the network opted to save costs by shooting some episodes on videotape instead of film. The primitive nature of videotape in the early 1960s made editing nearly impossible. Consequently, the six episodes shot on videotape were camera cut on a studio soundstage, limiting location shooting. This experiment was short-lived, and the series returned to film due to the constraints of using videotape, despite the higher cost. The six videotaped episodes were later transferred to film for broadcast, saving about $5,000 per episode. Rod Serling initially wanted Richard Egan for narration due to his deep voice. However, Egan's studio contracts prevented his involvement. Facing the choice of Egan or no one, Serling ended up narrating the series himself. In 2018, after The Twilight Zone was picked up for CBS All Access, CBS listed the 10 most terrifying episodes of the original series. These included Nightmare at 20,000 Feet, Time Enough at Last, Living Doll, Eye of the Beholder, It's a Good Life, The Monsters Are Due on Maple Street, 22, Five Characters in Search of an Exit, The Masks, and The Hitchhiker. Rod Serling, frequently seen with a cigarette in hand during the show's introduction, served as an on-screen spokesman for Liggett and Myers Chesterfield Cigarettes, a key sponsor. The American Tobacco Company later insisted on his constant on-screen cigarette presence, though Serling refused to promote their brand directly. Robert McCord holds the distinction of being the only actor, aside from Serling, to appear in all five seasons. Following closely are Jack Klugman, John Anderson, John Lormer, and Vaughn Taylor, each featuring in four seasons. Klugman and Taylor spanned the first, third, fourth, and fifth seasons. Anderson appeared in the first, second, fourth, and fifth, and Lormer graced each of the initial four seasons. Serling extended an invitation to viewers to submit scripts, receiving an overwhelming 14,000 submissions. Despite reading 500, only two met his standards, yet they didn't align with the show's format. In a departure from the standard 30-minute episodes, season four embraced hour-long formats due to CBS scheduling shifts. The show secured the eighth spot in TV Guide's 25 top cult shows ever, underscoring its lasting influence. Rod Serling claimed the top position in TV Guide's 25 greatest sci-fi legends, solidifying his pivotal role in shaping the series. Rod Serling, the mastermind behind the television series, introduced the concept of the sixth dimension in season one's opening narration. When questioned about the fifth dimension, Serling's response, I don't know, aren't there five? Led to the modification of the narration to there is a fifth dimension. While the phrase submitted for your approval is often associated with the show, it is heard only in three specific episodes Cavender is coming in praise of Pitt and a kind of a stopwatch. This distinctive element adds a unique touch to selected narratives within the series. The Twilight Zone achieved landmark status in television, garnering praise from both critics and the audience. Rod Serling's subsequent projects, including the follow-up series Night Gallery, failed to replicate the impact of this iconic show. The Twilight Zone's legacy endures as a testament to its unparalleled influence in the realm of television.